very quick video here, but I thought a relevant one um, because it's actually a very good and easy to do solution to getting your unsought rewards. Um, I, I assume if you're watching the video, you know about them, but essentially, if you play unsought, there's a WB Games account thing. You can connect unsought to that, and you can connect, connect the console you're playing MK12 on. You do that. And it should um, transfer rewards when you reach these level milestones here. You know, level 5, 10, 15, 20. I got to level 20, didn't get any rewards, which I kind of say because the Switch version, the, the connecting, connecting your Nintendo account to uh, WB Games does not seem to register MK12. The switch port and in the settings there's no option to link from the game itself which other versions do have so it seems it just doesn't work for switch i submitted a bug about it other people support it this seems to just be a, a a general thing on the switch port but you can clean these rewards on switch and this information i'm going to give you is going to be useful regardless of your console if, if you are having an issue where you just haven't received the rewards then WB Game Support will definitely help you out. I did an overview about how they helped me get my uh, 12, um, 1250 Dragon Crystals, which, if you're unaware, you are entitled to 1250 Dragon Crystals from the Combat Pack. If you own the Combat Pack, you are supposed to have that those extra time, dra not time crystals, Dragon Crystals. Um, and it's not a premium edition thing, it is just if you own the combat pack itself. It, 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 it's separate from the from the premium edition bonus. Um, so this will actually pair quite nicely because you get like an extra 50 in both of them. You get it to an even number. I've already bought the combat pack and the one time dragon pack, which is 850. That's no way you could get an extra 50. Um, so now I'm just gonna be left with a random 50 crystals. Which, this is the right amount. They initially said level 15 gives you 500, but no. Which, I feel, it, this is a very good amount. This is a very strong reward for the mobile game. This is a good amount. You can get, yeah, I mean, it's 500 for a lot of skins in the game right now. Like, like, like if you're missing rewards right now, and you want one of the, uh, the classic MK3 skins, for example... You can claim it right now. It, it just doesn't take long. For me, they responded within minutes. Like, five minutes, maybe. And they did all this in one email. Which I think is very good. Very good. It, it, it is not often you get a, a support team that... For, for video games specifically, like this is. We get a support team that actually, you know, gives you the stuff you're missing... Um, they actually respond and stuff. It's very good for as much as I hate Warner Bros. Their support team fucking rules. Um, so I I I I do trust them with stuff like this. Um, so if you have an issue with redeeming anything, they should handle it. The thing I reckon you'll need is your network status thing, which. It's a certain input on the main menu to get, like, your network status. And, like, you have a unique ID, actually. And stuff like that. And they can use that to uh, transfer stuff to your account. I, I think they need it for this as well. Um, I'm not sure because I just attached it to my initial email request anyway. In, in case they did need it, which I think they do. Um, but I, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. I just did it to save me from having to go back and forth for the emails. If you don't have the input, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think you press all the bumpers, all the triggers at once, and then you press uh, A, A on Switch, B on Xbox, and what whatever that is on PlayStation. That's the, the input, I think. And you attach it as like a screenshot, or, or just take a photo off your phone or whatever, off the camera. That'd be fine. And yeah, as soon as I submitted this, I got this back in within minutes. And I've been kind of holding off on this because I thought, eh, they might fix it. But I figured I might as well ask them. Um, but currently, that this seems to be the only way to uh, redeem the rewards on Switch. Because the Switch Connect thing just doesn't do anything. It does not work currently. 
I believe it's a Nuremberg. Whether they fix it or not, I don't know. But, frankly, it doesn't really matter, because here is a way to just get the rewards anyway. And it only takes, like, an extra ten minutes of your time. And I... I just want to spread away as well, because this is quite an unknown thing. The, the bonus dragon crystals from from the combat pack is a very unknown thing, which is quite alarming, because there's so many combat pack owners, and I reckon, like, a very small handful have actually gotten those bonus crystals. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Like, if you have the combat pack, you can get 1,250 crystals, and on top of this, there's 750. You know, you're, you're looking at nearly 2,000 crystals there. That you might be missing out on. Which is a good amount. I don't like microtransactions in this game. Um, but both in terms of the, the skins. A lot of cosmetics feel quite cheaply made. Um, so it doesn't feel like I'm missing out on too much. And you get plenty of free crystals. But it is a limited supply. But at least with stuff like this. You're increasing that limited supply. Um, so I think it's quite good. I, I got nothing else to really go on about here. I thought it's more ramblings. Uh, I think IPAL covers it. Just, you know, go to WB Games Support, you can just Google it. And yeah, you get this. Which is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.